Welcome to Applied. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to set up the Applied Aqua Blaster Extreme Blasting Machine. Please note, this video is not a replacement for reading the owner's manual. The manual should be read in full by anyone operating the blasting machine. We're confident the Applied Aqua Blaster Extreme Blasting Machine will be perfectly suited to your blasting requirements due to its versatility and user friendliness. It can change between wet blasting, dry blasting, and air blowdown modes at the touch of a button. Ensure the blast machine is on a level surface. Now, the blast holes. Secure to the blast machine using the supplied R clips. Connect the twin line remote control hose and water supply hose to the corresponding ports on the blast machine. Lay the remote control hose alongside the blast hose. Ensure the remote control handle is close to the nozzle holder. Fix the remote control hose and dead man's handle to the blast hose using cable ties. One cable tie for every meter of hose. Insert the washer into the nozzle holder on the blast hose. Then, thread the nozzle into the holder and hand tighten. Attach the water supply hose to the corresponding water induction fitting on the nozzle. Uncoil the water suction line and drop it into the water tank. If you plan on wet blasting any steelwork, add applied Solutite 18 to the water tank to prevent flash rusting. Uncoil the air supply hose, secure it to the blast machine using the supplied R clips. Attach the air supply hose to the suitable air compressor outlet, securing using the R clips provided. Load the blast machine with abrasive. We recommend using the applied sieve to prevent any oversized particles which could cause blockages from entering the blast machine. Keep the abrasive level below the pop-up valve to prevent abrasive media from being forced up and out of the blast machine when it pressurizes. Start up your air compressor as per the manufacturer's instructions. Open the inline air supply lever ball valve. Take note of the pressure shown on the supply pressure gauge. This should be reading a minimum pressure of 70 PSI. Push the water switch and the abrasive switch into the off position. Activate the blast machine by pressing the dead man's handle, ensuring the blast nozzle is directed away from you and any bystanders. Adjust the pressure regulator located on the side of the dashboard to achieve the desired vessel pressure. Once you have the desired pressure set, deactivate the blasting machine by releasing the dead man's handle. To activate wet blasting mode, push the water switch into the on position. You are now ready to prime the water pump. Start by opening the ball valve, then activating the dead man's handle. Wait until you observe a constant water flow this usually takes around 20 seconds before closing the ball valve. Release the dead man's handle. Now, push the dead man's handle again and water should exit the nozzle after a number of seconds. The pump is now primed. Push the abrasive switch into the on position. Turning the knob clockwise reduces the volume of abrasive that can flow through the valve. Turning the knob anti-clockwise increases the volume of abrasive that can flow through the valve. Activate the blasting machine by pressing the dead man's handle. You are now wet blasting. To adjust the water flow, turn the water pressure regulator. This should be done while you are wet blasting. Ensure the blast nozzle is directed away from you and any bystanders. It should be set to approximately 30 psi. To switch to dry blasting, twist the water button to the off position. For blowdown mode, twist both the water and abrasive buttons to the off position. Remember, operators and anyone else exposed to the blasting must wear relevant blasting PPE. Thanks for watching. If you need any further advice, 
on how to set up your applied Aqua Blaster Extreme blasting machine, feel free to contact us.